<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions from the LA Thieves home series. Last week during the Florida Mutineers home series, I obtained more points than everyone on the CDL on-air talent team other than Miles. I think this proves they definitely should be hiring me and I would make a great addition to the squad. I'm just kidding. But all jokes aside, this is the last set of games before Major 4. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup of the weekend here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. The Ultra have been one of the best teams all season. They've been extremely consistent and are currently fourth in the standings. LAG, in contrast, has struggled as of late. Last week during the Florida Mutineers home series, they went 0-2. I do not expect this series to be that close, to be honest. The Ultra have not dropped a map this stage since losing to Florida during the Chicago home series. I expect their dominance to continue here as that lit a fire in them that will stay with them the remainder of the stage. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic has looked rather solid this stage. They are 2-1 during it thus far and their one loss came at the hands of FaZe. Surge and Contrast have been struggling as of late and quite frankly all season to be honest. They have not won a series all stage and are currently last in the standings. They also have the lowest amount of CDL points. I do not expect this series to be that close either to be honest. I do think that the Surge however should be able to take at least one map potentially on the basis of Optic mistakes. Optic beat Paris 3-1 last week and the Legion are currently 11th in the standings. Surge also took two maps on the Thieves at the beginning of the stage, proving that although they've been losing, they are capable of taking maps on teams. Optic is a solid team, but they are not the best in the game, therefore I think it is possible for them to drop a map. And for the next matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of NYSL. NYSL has looked phenomenal as of late. They haven't lost the series all stage and currently sit at second in the standings. London, in contrast, has had some struggles recently. They have yet to take a series all stage. I do not expect this series to be close either to be honest. NYSL also went undefeated all last stage up until the major. They also played in the finals in major three but did not win. I think they are still very hungry given that fact and that their domination will continue here. For the next matchup here we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. The Thieves have been struggling as of late. They barely beat Surge when they faced off this stage and faced losses to both Paris and FaZe afterwards. The L they took to FaZe was also a 3-0 and they really just got blown out in that series to be honest. The Surge was a 6-0 and the control almost went 3-0. Rocker, in contrast, have been looking rather solid during this stage. They lost their first series of it, but have went undefeated since. They also have not allowed anyone to drop two maps on them since. I think this matchup will be very close. These teams are neck and neck in the standings right now, with the Thieves being in 6th and Rocker 7th. They are also only currently separated by 20 CDL points. Also, the teams that Rocker have beaten during this stage have not been as good as the Thieves, in my opinion. They beat Paris and Seattle, who are currently the bottom two teams in the standings. But because of the recent trends of both teams, I think the Rocker will prevail. I do think the Thieves will give them a run for their money though as they are a good team and it is their home series but with it being online COD I just don't expect it to matter enough. And for the next matchup here we have the Los Angeles Gorillas versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of LAG. Both of these teams have been underperforming recently. Neither team has won any matchup they've been in all stage. LAG has faced Empire, Florida, New York and they took maps against everyone except Dallas. London has faced Dallas, Toronto, and Florida but only took maps against Dallas. This makes this matchup very hard for me to call to be honest. I think LAG must have just been a little bit off in their matchup versus Empire and that this is why they were unable to take any maps that day. I also think that them being able to take a map against NYSL speaks to how good they are. New York has just continued to look disgusting for pretty much the last two stages straight. If London was unable to take any maps against Florida or Toronto, I have no reason to believe they could take one against NYSL either. Toronto, in my opinion, is in that same bubble of top teams that are some of the best in the game. London also made a roster change going into the stage while LAG did not. Because of both teams' lack of consistency, however, I expect a close series to ensue. Both teams have had their moments, so I expect it to still be a very highly competitive one for sure. And for the next matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has been on fire as of late, and quite frankly, all season as well. They won the last major and are undefeated during this stage. They are also currently first in the standings and have the most CDL points out of all the teams. Three of their wins during this current stage were also 3-0s. The Rocker have looked decent recently, but less cracked when facing top teams. When they faced Optic at the beginning of the stage, they lost 3-0. Optic is currently 5th in the standings. Rocker has also had a relatively easy stage thus far, as their wins will have been to Surge, Paris, and a struggling Thieves team. They will have barely edged out their series over Thieves too. I do not think it will occur in a dominant fashion. I do not expect this series to be close, to be honest. If Optic had no problem 3-0-ing Rocker, I do not think FaZe will have much issue either. Optic did look extra good that day in my opinion, but FaZe has been looking disgusting all stage. I expect for their reign of terror to continue, and for them to secure another spicy 3-0. And for the 
next matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Florida has had a pretty solid stage. They currently sit at 3-1 and one during it, with one of those wins being against Toronto. And their only loss was in a map 5 to NYSL. Dallas has also looked solid this stage, just not quite as much as Florida. They are currently 2-2 two and two during it, with losses to Toronto and NYSL. They pushed New York to 5 maps, but took the L to Toronto in only 3. They also barely were able to take their series over London, as it took them all 5 maps there to do so. Because of how solid Florida has looked during this stage, I expect them to have no issue prevailing in this series. Toronto is still a top team in my opinion, and the Mutineers beat them. Empire is good, but not good enough to be competitive here in my opinion. I think Florida has even more to prove right now than NYSL, as they are currently lower in the standings. The Subliners currently sit at 2nd, while the Mutineers sit at 8th. I also think the NYSL Empire series was a bit of a flop or fluke too, as Hydra has been sick. The maps may all be close, but I expect Florida to have no issue taking the series here. And for the next matchup, we have the Paris Legion versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the Paris Legion. Both of these teams have been struggling as of late, and quite frankly, all season. Paris is the only one to take a series all stage, and these two teams currently sit in the bottom two spots in the standings. Paris, however, has been taking some maps on some notable teams. They took one map on both FaZe and Optic during the stage. Their win was also versus the Thieves, who Seattle lost to. This is honestly a tough series for me to call, as both teams have been inconsistent. I honestly just expect Paris to prevail based on recent trends. Seattle hasn't won a series all stage and also have won zero out of the last 10 control maps they've played. I expect their woes to continue and for Paris to take the W. And for the next matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the Toronto Ultra. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of NYSL. Toronto has had a rather solid stage. They lost their first series of it to Florida 3-2 but have not dropped a map since. NYSL has also had a phenomenal stage. They have not lost to anybody yet. I expect this matchup to be insane close to be honest. Although the Ultra lost to Florida, I do not think that means much. The Mutineers have been on fire recently and honestly look like they could take this upcoming major. They also took them 5 maps, so it's not like they got blown out. Their ability to regain to the point of not even letting anyone else take a single map on them since as well is something I feel like really shows how good they are. Both of these teams have also made appearances in major finals this year, although only Toronto was able to prevail in one. Because of this and recent trends, I expect NYSL to walk away victorious here. I think, however, that this matchup definitely has the potential to consist of all close maps and it should or could be a highly competitive series to watch. In my opinion, honestly, this matchup should be the game field marquee match of the day, not the next one. It makes sense it is the way it is, but I feel like if it was based on which was the most entertaining to watch, it should have been this one. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have Optic Chicago versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I will be calling 3-0 in favor of Optic Chicago. The Thieves have been struggling as of late. Their only win this entire stage has been to Surge. Also, the last time these two teams matched up, they won 3-1. Optic, in contrast, this stage has looked rather solid. They did have a 3-0 loss to FaZe, but have secured every other series they have partaken in during it. Unfortunately, I do not expect this series to be that close, to be honest. The maps may be close, but I don't think Optic will have any issues securing the victory here. They are currently higher in the standings, and I also believe they will want revenge from the last time these two teams faced off. Both teams have looked off or inconsistent at times, but I think that come this matchup, Optic will be the one currently in a better play. Alright guys, some changes have occurred since I recorded this set of predictions. Since then, the LA Thieves have announced a new starting lineup. Draza and Venom have been benched and they have moved Slasher and Huke back up to their starting roster. This means that going into this event, their team will be Kenny, Huke, Tej, and Slasher. I will be altering my predictions with the following changes. First off, I will be calling Thieves Rocker 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves now. As explained before, Rocker has beaten some of the weaker teams in the league this stage thus far in my opinion. The last time they faced a really good team, it was versus Optic and they lost that series 3-0. They have also let everyone they faced so far this stage take maps against them. I think because of their recent success, they will still look good, but will have to call the series in favor of the Thieves now. Because of their changes, I think they will simply just display more talent now. I think they will also be hungry for a W as the Thieves have undergone a bit of a rough patch recently. And as explained before, these teams are neck and neck in the standings, so I do not expect the Thieves to slip up here. I do not think they will give Rocker any room or opportunity to catch them. Secondly, I will now be calling the Optic LAT match 3-2. I now regret saying this game shouldn't have been the match of the day. I wish I wouldn't have said it anymore as I think this new Thieves roster definitely displays a lot more potential. I do still think, however, Optic takes this matchup. As explained before, Chicago lost the last matchup these two had. I think that because of this and just overall more practice time, they will prevail. They have looked nasty as of late and are definitely in consideration for one of the best teams in the game. I expect a close competitive series to now go down, but for Optics to just barely edge it out. Team chemistry will be key in this matchup now if you ask me. 
And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Seattle Surge. In 11th, the London Royal Ravens. In 10th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 9th, the Paris Legion. In 8th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 7th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 6th, the Dallas Empire. In 5th, Optic Chicago. In 4th, the Toronto Ultra. In 3rd, the Florida Mutineers. In 2nd, the New York Subliners. And in 1st, Atlanta Fays. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm pretty excited for this weekend as my favorite team is finally being spotlighted. I really hope they play well and I really hope we get some fun matches to watch. Alright guys, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.